Hello everybody, welcome to lecture 23 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. In this lecture we're gonna start in chapter 8, Errors, Failures and Risks. And the topic to be covered in this lecture, uh, the failures and errors in computer systems. Let's take an introduction about this topic. The computer complexity makes it available or possible to uh, produce programs with errors. Also, uh, there are more than one factor that cause the failure or errors in computer systems. Uh, computer professionals must study failures. This is in order to learn how to avoid them and uh, to understand the impacts of poor work. Once a failure occurred in a computer system, this could uh, cause problems for individual, for example, billing errors. Uh, for instance, a woman received $6.3 million bill for electricity uh, where the uh, right amount was $63. This is an example of uh, errors that cause uh, problems for individual. Here are uh, two examples. Uh, you can uh, return to book and uh, read more details about that. These are uh, Galaxy IV and Amtrak. Uh, example for the system failures in some specific systems. First, let's start with voting system. In the voting systems, errors and uh, failures could be happened because of the technical uh, issues in that systems or uh, because of the uh, hacking happened uh, to the software of that systems or the vulnerability to viruses. Here are an example uh, of the system failures happened in Denver airport in the baggaging system. The main cause for, for uh, this uh, failure uh, was the time uh, of the development where it was insufficient. Also, the uh, changes or the significant changes in the specifications after the project began. Also, the uh, failure in the airports in Hong Kong and Kuala Lumpur, uh, where the problem here was in the uh, ignorance of some potential uh, things in user input. For the abandoned systems, some flaws in systems are so extreme that the systems are discarded after wasting millions or even billions of dollars. Here are uh, the, the general causes of the system failures. The lack of clear, well thought out goals and specifications poor management and poor communication, institutional and political pressures that encourage unrealistically uh, low bids, low budget requests and uh, underestimate of time requirements. Uh, the use of very new technology with unknown reliability and problems and refusal to recognize or uh, admit a project is in trouble. Legacy systems are out of date systems, hardware, software or peripheral uh, equipment is still in use often with special interfaces, conversion software and other uh, adaption, adaption to make them uh, interact with more modern systems. Legacy systems could be reliable but inflexible, could be expensive to replace, could be little or no documentation for it. Let's see why these failures in computer systems happens. What goes wrong? First, the job, the, uh, the job they are doing is difficult and could be done 
poorly. Also, there are some issues regarding the design and developments, such as inadequate attention to potential safety risks, interaction with physical devices that do not work as expected, incompatibility of software and hardware, uh, no planning or designing for unexpected input or circumstances, confusing user interfaces, insufficient testing, reuse of software from another system without adequate checking, uh, overconfidence in software, carelessness. All of this uh, was regarding the design and developments. Also, uh, regarding the management and use problems. Uh, this issue has many things such as data entry errors, the lack of training of user, errors in interpreting results or output, failure to keep information in databases up to date, and overconfidence in software by users. Moreover, uh, misrepresentation, hiding problems, and inadequate response to reported problems, as well as the insufficient market or legal uh, incentives to do better jobs could be important, important factors in causing failures and errors in computer systems. Finally, the reuse of software. The reuse of software is, is to reuse old software for new projects. This could affect the new system or the new project. It is essential to re-examine the specification and design uh, of the software considering the implication and risks for the new environment and also uh, it's essential to retest the software for the new use uh, we reach to the end of this lecture and see you in the next lecture and goodbye